Hello everybody, so I'm going to show you a quick zap that you can use with Zapier today. So for those of you that don't know, Zapier is like the glue between two softwares. So it allows you to connect things together to obviously save yourself time and money. So if I go over to Zapier here, I've just set up a free account not long ago, um, just so I could obviously for these videos. And as you can see here, it's on the free plan this, so it wouldn't cost you a thing if you set up this app. Don't get confused by it, I'm literally going to guide you through it step by step. But what it basically does in Zapier, it connects things together, like I mentioned, like the glue in between it. So like for instance, we could connect our Gmail to our Twitter even if we wanted to. So we could actually say that when with a new email, we actually want to create a tweet or anything like that, even though I don't think that we'd want to do that. Um, a common one that can be used is if people have got a CRM such as HubSpot, they could send that to their email platform. So say it's Active Campaign, they can do it. So like for the new contact in HubSpot, I want you to send it to Active Campaign and create a contact in there. And then that way you've got all your emails together still in one place. So for the purpose of this video though, what we're going to do is we're actually going to connect gmail to trello so the whole aim of what we're going to do is we're going to get we obviously all get expenses so i've just sent myself a dummy email here um, which is basically just saying that there's an invoice due and it might be that you have a set accounting day so you want to make sure that you do all your expenses on a certain day but you want it in your face to remind you so instead of me going to my trello board and adding it in expenses here as a card for me to do, what we're going to do is make it automatically happen. So that when I move this to my expenses folder, then what it will do is it'll take it to Trello automatically. Right, so how do we do it? So first off, get yourself a free account on Zapier. And once you're in, just click make as app. And now we're gonna say what we want to happen. So the first application that is going to be inside this app is gmail so we can type gmail in and it'll appear now these are all your like your triggers that what's got to happen for it to do this app so what's going to happen is obviously we don't want a new email because you would get more than expenses emails coming in so we're going to use new labeled email so what that means is if i put a label of test website expenses you get to pick the label then that's what it's going to do new labeled email so we'll click continue it will ask you to sign in but i'm already signed in so that's fine but what it would do is once you click here click sign in and you'd have to sign into your email client to give the permission for it to get access to it so we're going to say yep yeah, the admin email and click continue so now this is where we're going to say what label it is so we know it's called expenses so we're going to do expenses to do that is going to be what we're going to choose so we're going to click that there and then click continue and then what it's going to do is it wants a test trigger so what i always recommend to do before you even test it is find something that you can just quickly do it with so like for instance on here i've already got my dummy email so what i'm going to actually do now is click into this and I'm going to move it to the expenses folder. I can't remember if I did expenses or expenses to do, so let me check. Expenses to do folder, yeah. So we're going to choose the expenses to do folder. So now, because an action's actually happened, we can test it. Because obviously if we've never done that before, it's not going to ever find any data to test. So we're going to click test trigger. And it should come up with that email. Yep, here we go. So this was the email saying, Hi Laura, here's your test email and your invoice attached for £20. There we go. And as you can see, it's pulled out of what details from that email. Some of it we don't even need. So right, that's fine. We've got some test data. We're happy with that. So let's click continue. Now we need to choose what we're connecting it to. So we're connecting it to Trello. So if we click on Trello, what we want it to do is create a card basically in a specific board and a specific specific list for us so we're going to click create card next we're going to choose our trello account so i'm already signed into ours 
and then it's going to ask us where it's going to go. So which board do we want it to go on? And I have one called test, if I spell it right, there we go, testing Trello board. Then we're going to choose the list of where we want it to go in. So if you can see in my Trello board, I've got a to do, a doing, a done, and then expenses. So we are literally just going to pick expenses. Now the name of your card is, so if we click add card, we enter a title for the card. So like for instance, if I was to add one here, that's what appears. That is what's going to appear and you're going to see what it is. So obviously we want to put what that is. So it could be that we want it to be the subject line. There we go. So we might put the subject line. And then actually we might want to put the email address it was from. So I'm going to actually type a dash in myself. So you can type in manually what you want in. And then we're going to find the email address it was from from email there and put from email so the title should be invoice 1948 dash admin at mheservices.co.uk the description of the email we might actually want to leave this blank or we might actually want to put whatever the body of the email was in there so we'll just put that in there if you've got a labeling system set up you might want to label it up so we'll just say we're going to label it up as blue where do we want to go do we want to go to the bottom or the top so i would say the bottom because the ones at the top are the ones that have been in there the longest. That's what I want for my expenses. If you've got different team members set up, you can assign people to it. You don't have to. Now the due date, so you can either pick a date from here or it could be plus one week. And then if there's any attachments, such as the invoice itself, you can attach the file. So there we go. So there isn't an exist, but it doesn't show. So we can click that. That's if you want the attachment. You don't have to. If you've got any checklist preset up, you can put that in there. So you might have an expense checklist set up where it's put it into download the invoice and put it into a correct folder. Then you might have to add it as a bill onto your accounting software. And then you might actually have to pay the bill. So you might have a checklist, so you can choose that there as well. But for now, we're just going to leave that blank and click continue. Then what it's going to do, it's going to do a test and review stage. It's going to test if this actually working. If we click test and review, it will come up at the top here and it will say a card was sent to Trello. So let's check. Voila. So in Trello, the title is invoice 1948, admin at mhe-services.co.uk. It's labelled it up with the blue. It's put a due date for plus one week. It's also put in here the details of what was in the actual email. And it's put the attachment in. So I attached an image into the email, so that's what it's put in. Done and dusted. So that is all fully set up. So all we need to do now is actually click done editing. Turn the zap on. And also give it a name. So we will put Gmail expense to Trello expense there we go and if we go to our zaps there we've got it so just a warning on gmail and Trello the, usually with zaps there's not a delay it's quite instant but when you actually do this physically there will be about a 15 minute delay and that's just how it is unfortunately with gmail and Trello so once you move something to the expenses folder if you're testing, it does it instantly. But actually, in real time, if you did it, it would take 15 minutes for it to happen. So don't worry, it's still working. It's just going to take a little bit of time for it to send it. Now, on the back of that, we could, I won't show you on this video, just an idea, you could reverse it. So you could say that on this Trello board, when I tick this off as done, so I click the due date and tick it off as done, then I actually want you to move it from the expenses to do folder just to the main expenses folder so then it's keeping it all organized so that could be another thing that you do so i hope that helps get yourself in there and have a go at it see if it works for you if you don't use gmail and you use something like outlook it will still work for you we've still got outlook available so if you look here Microsoft Outlook is there, you can use it, have a play around with it and see how you get on.